Okay, bumping it up a little bit, um, adding acceleration or changes of velocity to our VT graphs. This first one says a car is driving at a slow constant speed. We talked about that already. Constant speed means horizontal lines. Uh, because it's slow, it means it's going to be close to the time axis. So there's our car driving at a slow constant speed. It then accelerates to a faster constant speed. I know what faster constant speed means. That's a horizontal line that's higher. So there's my faster constant speed. So the acceleration is going to be the line that connects it. For now, we're going to keep it simple and we're going to connect with straight lines. So we have slow constant speed, then a straight line, that's our acceleration, and then our faster constant speed. Acceleration is going to be a straight line. Uh, this one's kind of the opposite. A car's driving at a fast constant speed, and then it slams on the brakes and skids to a stop. And the last one speeding up was a positive slope, the connector of the two points. This time we're slowing down, so it's going to be the opposite. It's going to be a negative slope. And it says it goes all the way to a stop. Stop means not moving, so we're going to slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. And when we get to the time axis, that's when we're not moving. Um, we're going to draw a little horizontal there to show that it stays not moving for a sec. Now a little subtle difference. Uh, since the car, or sorry, since the question said that it slams on the brakes and skids to a stop, I made this slope, this negative slope, a little bit steep here to show that it was a rapid change in velocity. It didn't didn't take a lot of many seconds for it to go from moving fast to not moving. All right, getting a little bit trickier. Let's try this next one. Mr. Verlick is walking forward at a slow speed. Can't make it much bigger. So we'll squeeze this in. Forward at a slow speed, so that's going to look like this. Slows to a stop and stands for a bit. So slows to a stop is kind of like our car. Slows, stands for a bit. Then he walks in the opposite direction at a faster speed. Opposite direction means we're going to drop below the time axis. Fast means we're going to get farther away from the time axis. So it's a little bit messy. Pretend those are straight lines. We start off with a horizontal line for the moving forward slow. Then a straight line downhill to bring us to a stop. Then on the time axis is stopped. Then we accelerate backwards. So that's that negative slope line there. And then another horizontal line across the bottom. All right, the last one. If you can get this without any help, you're a champ of VT graphs because this is the toughest one. Um, suppose uh, Meg throws a volleyball straight up. It leaves her hand and it's going fairly quickly in the upper direction. It gradually slows down and stops, but it only stops for a split second. Then it starts going in the opposite direction, getting faster and faster. We're not going to worry about Meg, the action of actually throwing the ball. We're just going to focus on the ball when it's out of her hand. If we break it down, I think it's easier than if you just dive into it. But uh, dive away, see what you can do. Here, pause the video if you need to to think about it, but here's how I would tackle this one. The ball leaves Megan's hand moving upward fairly quickly. I'm going to think of up as positive, so it's going to leave with a positive velocity that's pretty large. It gradually slows down and stops. I know what stop looks like. Stop is when it's at the time axis, but it only stops for a split second, so I'm going to go through a point kind of like that. Then it goes in the opposite direction. Opposite direction has to have the opposite sign, so it's going to drop below the time axis, getting faster and faster. So eventually it's going to end up going fast again, just this time it's going fast downward as opposed to upward. So with a little bit of logic, I can label those three points. It started off moving up and fast. It stops for a split second. Then it ends up going down and fast. The graph is just the line that connects those three points. Oops. Pretend that goes through all three points. I'll cheat and make the points a little bit bigger. Oh, that's ugly. I'm going to erase that and start again. The graph is basically this line. Started off moving fast upward, slowed down and stopped, then started speeding up backwards, getting faster and faster. We'll connect this to forces later, but the force of gravity on the ball didn't change. So the acceleration or the slope of that line shouldn't change. Uh, don't get too worried if that last one bugged you. It's about, it is definitely the hardest one we'll see in high school.